Hey guys, I'm here today. I want to have a little talk with you about aquaponics and the sustainability of aquaponics. If you know, for those who are considering going into it, so stick around. I feel something building up inside me. I must prepare. I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. All right, well, I've come up with a little list of uh, sustainability facts about aquaponics compared to, uh, well, to all the other aquaponic systems that, that are out there and, and to ground and growing and stuff like that. Now, everybody knows my opinion. Uh, I love growing in aquaponics. I've been growing for 21 years now and this uh, professionally for 21 years. Uh, but aquaponics is my favorite way to grow. And I want to give you all a few facts on this and just to help you when you're making your decisions about going into aquaponics, you know, this, this might help you to boost you along your way. And maybe you could join me on my show, <laughs> uh, Aquaponics on a Budget, right up there. Y'all come and join me and we'll build some systems together. It'll be really fun. All right, but anyway, back to our, our list. Uh, the first thing, for, first and foremost thing, is the water savings. You know, I water, you know, this inside of the greenhouse, I water it every day. Everybody knows I water it every day at the hottest part of the day because that's when my smaller solar system uh, is able to, to handle the, the well pump. But we're going to get water catchment and we're going to build up to there. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a process. So water savings, uh, I might have to put 25 gallons in here uh, every two weeks, maybe. You know, just from general evaporation, a little more in summer, a lot less in the winter. Uh, so it's real humid here, so we don't. Uh, I don't put that much water in there. All right, but uh, and the second one is no worries about soil. I mean, we just got rocks in here. We're just growing in, in plain pebbles, creek rock. I like creek rocks. You know, it's got a lot of quartz. It's got a lot of rose quartz in it. And, you know, uh, I think that helps. But you don't have to worry about your soil. You don't have to worry about worm. I grow worms in here, vermiculture in, in my aquaponics. They love it in there. They help clean out the uh, organic materials in there that are built up in there and help clean my system you know help it keep it clean and and uh so they're all around good there are worms worms in the aquaponic system so uh but anyway the, don't have to worry about soil you know it, you just have pebbles and this these pebbles will be good forever just wash them clean them put them back in there you know okay you see my point there <laughs> uh Growing in places that you wouldn't normally grow in. I could grow here uh, in, in the ground here, so that doesn't really protect me. But in other areas, the desert areas, uh, uh, really cold areas, you know, areas like that. Sorry, it's hot today. <laughs> but uh, you, you could grow in mountain ranges. You know, you could grow uh, anywhere you wanted to. All right. Uh, so... Growing in places you wouldn't normally grow in. It, it has, it produces its own fertilizers. And when the plant is healthy and producing well and no troubles, it produces its own pesticides. So there you go with the, the perfect amount of fertilizer. And y'all can see <laughs> my system is doing good. Uh, so I don't have to worry about fertilizer. I don't have to worry about uh, you know, that kind of stuff. All right. It, it reduces the food mileage. Uh, these systems can be put up anywhere, you know, in a building, you know, artificial lights, whatever, you know, this kind of greenhouse, which I would suggest, uh, they can be put up anywhere and produce a lot of food. I can grow a head of lettuce from a seed to a full head of lettuce in 35 days. That's pretty good. So anyway, Let's go on. Uh, this could, if you were 
out to do this and you didn't want a homestead, this could this could support a homestead. Uh, and, you know, with cuttings and, and the produce, not to mention the produce that you get out of here, and the fish, the fresh fish that you get out here. Uh, it's just, you know, there's no comparison to how much food it grows. And everybody says, oh, it tastes different. I don't taste any different. I have some right behind the camera right there planted, and I got some right here. They both taste the same to me. I mean, I have a pretty sensitive taste bud palate, you know. Uh, now, propagation, seed starting, and all that, this is our number one love of this aquaponics system. Uh, I want a bigger system so that I can do it more, uh, but that's my number one love is propagating and, and seed starting because we can start so many seeds and, and in a confined area, and they don't affect each other, even if they're right beside each other, because... It, the roots are getting everything they need and they have plenty of room to grow and the final thing is uh, these were ten ten things that I found final thing is the fish uh, the fish now the sustainable thing about now the only sustainable fish I have found is tilapia because they reproduce easily and uh, they they keep you in fish uh, bluegills and, and catfish and trout and uh, bass and you know all the other fish that they the jade perch and all that they have to be bought from a fish market they don't they won't reproduce in a small closed-in system you can put them in a tank by themselves and maybe if the conditions were just perfect you know you had sand and everything you could get your bluegill to reproduce you know, so but they'll they'll lay their eggs there, and then you got to watch out for them. And catfish the same way. Tilapia they reproduce easily. They are sustainable towards an aquaponic system. These plants, you know, if I didn't want to, I would never have to plant another seed in there. I would just take a cutting off the existing plant and just keep going from there. So these plants, I would never have to change. I just keep going, keep cutting, keep going. So they're sustainable, and the water's sustainable. And you know, with the the plants, the water plants I put in there keeps my water where it should be. Uh, so, all right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this, and this is my opinion of aquaponic sustainability. Uh, of course, everybody has advice, but I've been doing this a while. I've been growing a while, and I assure you, this. Uh, Aquaponics is, is the way to go, and everybody will love it. Don't psych yourself out. The, the lady who taught me how to do it said just try it. If it don't work, do something else. Don't get stressed out. <laughs> All right, guys. Ani Ove Ocha means I love you in Hebrew. Later, guys. Live in the way you meant for me to live. Is what I strive to do every day As I live off the land Lead me at your pace For you, Lord, I'll go for green living Help me to feed all the hungry Use me, Lord, to ease their misery From all this worldly pain and captivity for you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare, I must get ready. So